Hi, I'm Casey Holdall, joined by Lamar Hurd, and today we're going to look through Brandon Roy's game winner versus the Houston Rockets in 2008. Oh, when you say Brandon Roy game winner, it's like which one? Which one, I mean, exactly. The guy was so spectacular, but this one, this, this case, this game had all the feels. Yeah. Because as we watch the tape unfold, T Mac pulls up for the shot, doesn't get it to go. Blazers, it seems like B Roy, he's looking at the clock, he's pacing. Spins, knocks it down. I want to rewind that, though. I want to rewind it because you'll see he looks at the clock right before he spins. So he's trying to get the clock down as low as he can but also get a quality shot. So after peeking up, he turns. And that's a tough way to turn. Yeah. And going backwards, that is just a difficult shot. And so at this point, you're feeling like... It's, it's a done deal. Well, it, it just this clip, too, just so illustrates so well kind of one of the things that Brent, people talk about with Brandon Roy the most is the way he played, the pace that he yeah. played with, which yeah. was that he played as almost, so you see him come down the court and it's kind of like, da -dum, da -dum, yeah. da -dum, and some people are thinking, hurry up, hurry up. And he's like, no, I'm, no I'm I got this. And I, I guess <laughs> the, if you, the one complaint would be that maybe he left a little bit too much time there. But again, he's a guy who, you know, he was a rhythm guy. So yeah. when he felt like it was the right time to go, he went, and, and, and while there shot. was a little time left there, I mean, you know, two se under two seconds. And, and I would say good. the timing was good because had he missed that shot, he's given his team that's a true. chance to offensive rebound. So that's a good shot. But here we go. Rockets taking it out on the baseline. And you see Brandon opposite the ball, tries to make a play on it, swipes down, and almost the worst thing other than a straight-up three-point shot. Yeah. Happens. Yeah, you know I mean, that's what happens when you're seven six. You know, you can hold that ball a little bit higher. Exactly. Ma then. Making Joel Prisbilla, a guy who is, who is no uh, no no shrinking violet, look yeah. uh, look rather small. And Brandon, yeah. yeah, he's trying to make a play there. Yao Yao had had a pretty good game going into this, and Yao Ming, a guy who who played well against the Portland Trailblazers throughout his career. Uh, Brandon trying to you know trying to help out a little bit didn't didn't work out there. So now you're uh, now you're behind by one. Well, he's the kind of guy. We're gonna play this out, then we're gonna come back and talk about it because Brandon's the kind of guy that if he makes a mistake, he wants to make up for it. Really similar to what we see with Damian. Sure, absolutely. Damian makes a mistake one game, he wants to make up for it the next game, or if he gets a chance in that same game. And so, point eight, I mean, you're really in catch and shoot territory, not a lot of time. Brandon just flashes right to the basketball, rise and fire. <laughs> just and rainbow No through. rim. <laughs> Nothing. No rim at all. But now let's take a closer look at it. Yeah, because I'm curious here. So Tracy McGrady is, is defending Brandon Roy to, before the ball is inbounds. And, so let's and go back and, a little bit farther. Than him and Artest are obviously, they're having a, a discussion about something here. And, and I'm a little confused by, by what Tracy McGrady must have been thinking here because he just kind of lets Brandon go. So here's what happens. In this situation with point eight, Ron Artest is, is directing traffic, saying if he cuts that way, you go that way. But what Tracy McGrady is saying to Ron Artest is okay if Brandon comes up and sets the screen we're switching because typically teams will switch in this situation because you just want to be there on the catch sure. to contest but there's never a screen that takes place I want you to watch Travis Outlaw who ran our test his garden he doesn't set a screen he just stands He's there kind of, yeah. and so Brandon realizes that's taking place and Brandon knows he can hear Tra Tracy McGrady telling our test be ready to switch the screen so rather than using a screen Brandon just goes runs a straight direct line takes our test out of the equation. Now T-Mac too late, running out the last second. That is just a smart play from Brandon and a, an incredible shot that not a lot of people can make. Well, and you talked about the, the way he, the difficulty spinning away from the rim when he hit the, the shot before. I mean, this one, he's catching Same the thing, ball yeah. with his back right. to, the, to the basket, yes. basically. So, so he's not able to just go up. He has to turn face up and get it gone. You got to have strength for that shot. 